Live, Greater West Bloomfield's only local morning show, giving you exclusive access into people, businesses, and events in our community. We're bringing you this show live daily, weekdays at 9.30 a.m. with your host, me, Maddie Mustion. Before we dive into today's show, every week we highlight someone, an educator, business, student, or organization from our Greater West Bloomfield community going above and beyond. If you'd like to submit an entry for someone, you can go ahead and scan the QR code on the screen and fill out the Google form with the person's name, their contact information, and reasons why you think they should be recognized here on the Splash Live for our person of the week. Now let's go check out what's going on in our Greater West Bloomfield community. The first event we want to look at is the West Bloomfield Township Public Library virtual events. The West Bloomfield Township Public Library are hosting a ton of fun and educational events for residents in West Bloomfield and all age groups. Today they have their Monday virtual Earth Day story time. In this program that's recommended for children ages three to five years, you will celebrate all that the Earth has to offer through songs, stories, and interactive activities. Tomorrow on Tuesday, they have both their 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. virtual preschool smart money class. Real child will learn about the importance of money management through hands-on interactive stories and songs. Your child will learn about the use of saving money through their virtual program that is recommended for children ages three to five years. For these events and all other virtual events at the library, you can register on their website at westbloomfieldlibrary.org. Something else that is also ongoing at the library is your ability to rent out those great literacy and tender topic kits that can help your child with their literacy skills and ways to learn about tough topics that are happening in our community. If you're interested in renting out either of those kits, you can do so by stopping into the West Bloomfield Township Public Library or giving the Youth Services Desk a call to reserve that kit of your choice. The next event we want to look at is the Sylvan Lake History Talk. You can join Sylvan Lake historian Helen Jane Peters on Thursday, April 28th at 6.30 p.m. at the Sylvan Lake Community Center to learn more about the history of the Sylvan Lake community. All Sylvan Lake residents are welcome and there will be snacks and beverages provided as you learn more about the prettiest little city in Michigan. Helen Jane will walk through the group through the history of how Sylvan Lake started, where the land was bought from, and so much more. So make sure to bring any questions that you have for her that she will answer at the end of the presentation. The last event we want to look at is the Sylvan Lake Swap and Sale. If you're looking to either sell or donate your outgrown or unwanted outdoor items, Sylvan Lake is hosting their first annual Sylvan Summer Swap and Sale on May 1st from 11 to 4 p.m. Here you can bring your items such as kayaks, beach games, lake gear, and other summer-related objects to either donate, sell, or swap with a neighbor. You can check in with these items that goes from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., and the actual sale and swapping of these items will be given at 11 a.m. If you have any questions, you can contact Misty Markham at 248-480-6080. If you have an event that you would like us to feature here on the Splash Live, you can send us a message on our social media pages at Civic Center TV and on Facebook at Civic Center TV, 15, Civic Center TV 15. Coming up, I'll be talking with Christine Stevens, drama director at West Bloomfield High School, and two of their cast members for the production of Big Fish that they are putting on this weekend. But before that, I got to experience what it's like to be a kid again, but in an environment that promotes movement and learning. Swag Kids Gym, located in West Bloomfield, is providing classes for children as young as 10 months that mix in fun gymnastics and activity with lessons on confidence and sharing. I talked to Ralph Tompkins, the owner of Swag Kids Gym, about the class and how it helps out kids. Let's go check it out. Kids need exercise, and a business in Greater West Bloomfield is making that happen in a fun and educational way. Swag Kids Gym combines exercise with learning that promotes socialization in children. Ralph Tompkins, owner of Swag Kids Gym, talks a little bit about the classes that they have and how they impact the kids that come into the gym. Saw the ages two to four class where parents get an opportunity to be up close and personal with their kids while they're getting instructed. So there's a lot of different elements that happen in that class. We do circle time, so they introduce their name and get acclimated with being social. Obstacle course time to give them an opportunity to build their gross and fine motor skills. Air track time to be able to enjoy the music while jumping around and having fun. Ball time to increase hand-eye coordination. And then bubble time to wrap it up in a fun class. It's a great 35-minute class where kids feel extremely comfortable and structured. 
yet it has a lot of free play elements where kids are able to be super comfortable with whatever they want to do inside the gym. Super great. That's the great part about being able to do classes like this at the gym is that it allows parents and kids to be able to meet and have opportunities to socialize. Super important now because in the pandemic, they didn't have that opportunity to really socialize. So it's super fun letting them have the opportunity to get to know each other, learn their names, and then do activities together. They make friends, there's parallel play, and most importantly, they feel extremely comfortable inside of our gym. So it's a win-win situation every time we have classes from ages 10 months all the way up to 12 year olds here at the gym. Ralph also talks about the life skills that they promote at the gym, such as confidence and sharing, and how that helps the kids find their voices as they grow up. Yeah, so like you said, physical is just, it's a portion of what we do, but it's not everything what, that what we do and what we teach. Uh, we want these kids to build social skills, learn to share, learn to take turns, learn to socialize, learn to encourage their friends and not laugh at them. And then we also give our kids a voice once they turn four. We want them to introduce themselves. We want them to say their name, say their favorite colors, favorite hobbies, so kids get to know other kids. And then also we take a lot of time, um, even while they're taking a break during exercises, to get to know them as people because kids are extremely important. They have a voice, they have things going on. They go through stuff too. So our staff and our gym is really centered around um, them building comfort physically, socially, mentally and emotionally, then that's what makes swag so be unique. It's more than just about them growing physical skills. We wanna make sure that they're the best version of themselves in all aspects. And that includes building confidence. And there's nothing better than for them to feel that they have a voice, feel like they're heard, feel like they belong, and feel like they're really loved inside of our gym, so. For more information, you can head over to their website at swagkidsgym.com. Reporting for The Splash Live, I'm Maddie Muschin. If you're interested in becoming a member at Swag Kids Gym or want more information on the great classes that they have to offer there, you can head over to swagkidsgym.com for all the information that you need. Later on, we'll be taking a look at a visit to West Bloomfield High School from Broadway star Bobby Steggert as the Big Fish production is happening this weekend. But before that, we'll be talking with Christine Stevens, the drama director at West Bloomfield High School, and two of the cast members for the production of Big Fish that's happening this weekend. All that and more after this short break. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. In the face of COVID-19, staying healthy is important. And now the same is true as we face the flu. Influenza has the potential to infect millions, putting lives and the healthcare system at risk. Fortunately, it's easy to protect yourself. The flu vaccine is safe and effective, and with COVID-19 still spreading, it's essential. To see how you can hit this virus head on, visit michigan.gov flu. Can I ask you a question? Uh, Why do you want to get the COVID-19 vaccine? I don't like getting sick. The virus will die. It will be easy to not catch it. Keep my family safe and keep playing soccer. Because I love being vaccinated. What's your hope for everyone? I hope everybody gets the vaccine. To keep safe and strong. Be like happy, having fun everywhere. Everyone stay safe and hope you get the vaccine. And now, back to The Splash Live. Welcome back to The Splash Live. I'm your host, Maddie Mustin. Joining us now to talk about the West Bloomfield High School production of Big Fish that's happening this weekend is Christine Stevens, the drama director at West Bloomfield High School, alongside two of her cast members, Izzy Masolino and Drew Smith. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for Thank having you. me. <laughs> so Christine, let's first start off with you. Can you tell us a little bit of background information on Big Fish and what people can expect when they come to see that great production that you guys are putting out on this weekend? Yes, I'd be happy to talk about our amazing spring musical. It's a new musical. It's um, titled Big Fish and it's based on the book by Daniel Wallace. 
And most, or not most people, but some people have seen the movie by Tim Burton. So this musical is kind of an amalgamation of the two stories brought together and then enhanced with stunning music um, by Andrew uh, Lippa. And it is a story about a man who dreams big. He, he's over the top and he's a, he's a big fish in a small town and he wants to um, go and experience life and inspire his son but his son doesn't really understand him or believe in magic and fantasy and so they there's this big conflict between them and what i love about the story is that it it's a good reminder that it's important to believe in things that are bigger than life and to inspire others and to tell stories that last long after we're gone so we have two very talented high schoolers here as well so Izzy, you play Sandra Bloom in the play, and then Drew, you are playing Will Bloom in the play. So Izzy, let's start off with you. Can you tell us a little bit about your role as Sandra and how rehearsals have been going thus far? Uh, my role as Sandra, it's, it was a difficult role <laughs> to characterize. Um, she's a mother, and she unconditionally loves her, her husband. Will is my son. Um, rehearsals have been going really well so far. It's been a little difficult and like, Mm, like tiring but the product yeah and I dyed my hair <laughs> and, but the product is going to be really amazing and then Drew you got a really cool opportunity to meet the original Will Bloom Bobby Steger who visited West Bloomfield High School a while back I was there I saw you guys performing for him and it was just so awesome but he, can you tell us a little bit about that experience and what it was like for you personally yeah, man, it was so surreal. I'm a theater kid and I've always been a theater kid growing up. And between, you know, going to like seeing I don't know, uh, actors at a stage door is one thing, but having him come here and just sharing his um, experiences. And it, it was more, um, it was definitely more of a learning opportunity than I thought it was. Cause you know, Bobby, he, Bobby would ask a question and it would be kind of an open-ended question for everyone to answer. And and it helped me characterize it helped me characterize Will a lot because he has very um when he played Will, he he brought in a bunch of elements from his own life and he kind of was very helpful in showing me what elements to bring into my life and how how I can create a new character using my personality and not necessarily using his personality, but using events that have happened in my life. So it's really fun. And Christine, could you talk to us a little bit about what it means to be able to be back doing in-person shows, especially with a big audience at West Bloomfield High School this weekend? Oh, it's, it's such a wonderful feeling. Uh, we had a very long day of tech on Saturday, and the whole time I was thinking, gosh, I'm stressed and I, I'm pulled in a million directions, but this is what I missed during the shutdown, the pandemic, is like, the heat, the activity, the excitement, the chaos of theater is just so unique to theater and so beautiful in its complexity. And um, this show is is big. I feel like um, the music direction I got in a little bit over our heads, but the kids are so talented and so amazing. Um, and the orchestra the, is all students and the, the technical um, theater group is all students. So the fact that we have been able to come together as a theater community after being apart for so long is just so heartwarming. And this tale is, is I think, perfect to tell the, the world, the community right now, because it's, it's about continuing to, to dream and to believe even when others don't. And um, I, just, I just think it's perfect. It feels so refreshing and I can't wait to have an audience. <laughs> And Christine, um, if one of our viewers or listeners would like to purchase tickets to go see your production this weekend, can you give us some information on how they can go so uh, go about doing so? Yes, we. You are welcome to purchase tickets at the website called Show Tix T I X for the number four U, just the letter U. dot com. Show Tix for U. dot com, and then they can also purchase tickets. Um, at the door before the performance. And the show dates are April 28th, 29th, and 30th at 7 p.m. and April 30th at 1 p.m. as well. So two shows on Saturday. And yeah, this is definitely a show not to miss. These students are incredible. <laughs> and as we wrap up, Izzy and Drew, um, can you guys give a little bit of a background information on our audience, some fun things to look forward to, 
um, and if they haven't gotten their tickets yet, maybe a little bit of a preview of um, some things that they can enjoy this weekend to see Big Fish. Yeah, so um, there's, there's two clear lines in this show. There's reality, and then there's this imaginary fantasy. And we have, our, our wonderful set designers have, have come up with this phenomenal way to bring out this imagination, bring out these larger, quite literally larger than life sets and characters, come see the show. And um, it, it, it's just incredible. So much, so many colors and, and it's, it's absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, our costume team, although small, they have been doing amazing. Yeah. They're in charge of hair, makeup, and costumes, and, and also some props as well. And that's also going to be beautiful. There's some interesting costumes in the show, mm -hmm. too, so come see them. Well, thank you all so much for joining us here on the Splash Live this morning. And Izzy and Drew, congratulations and good luck this weekend. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Once again, I was joined by Christine Stevens, the drama director at West Bloomfield High School, alongside two of the great cast members for Big Fish, Izzy and Drew, who will be performing this weekend, so make sure to get your tickets to check it out if you haven't gotten your tickets already. Last month, West Bloomfield High School had a very special visitor come to talk to their theater cast and crew for Big Fish that the students are putting on for their spring musical this weekend. Bobby Steggert, who's in the original production of Big Fish on Broadway, came to speak to the students about the musical and what it means to them. Let's go check it out. West Bloomfield High School got a little taste of Broadway with an exciting visit from Bobby Steggert, who starred in Big Fish as one of the main characters, Will. The West Bloomfield High School students are set to put on the musical Big Fish in late April and have been rehearsing and practicing to show off their skills to the Big Fish's original star. Bobby came to watch the cast put on a few of the musical numbers that they have been working on, while also giving them some advice on the musical and what it means to be performing to their audience. Um, no, it was really inspiring to see you guys. I mean, one thing that is really special about the show is that um, every one of Edward's songs or stories has a real purpose, right? So, like. What would you guys say the purpose of telling Will this story is? You know, what, what, is, what is Edward's message in this specific story? To be his own hero. Totally. And what, would, what does that mean? Like, um, I'm trying to think about it. Uh, it's like having, instead of like looking up fairy tales, he can create his own type of fairy tale. Sure. And so I, I ask all these questions because, um, I guess I want to make the point that you're all so important to Edward's stories, right? You populate and become the very important characters in all of the stories. And so the message of the song is applicable to each of you as performers. You know, this is a chance for all of you to um, be the hero in your own performance of this show. And you and you and you and you are all just as important as Will and just as important as Edward and just as important as any of the, the lead characters, you know? There's another thing that he says in this particular song, which I think is really important. He says, um, you know, the most important thing about a story is the people you meet along the way, right? And especially after two years being isolated, what a gift it is for you guys all to be together in the same room. Bobby also talked about how the meanings of the songs in Big Fish are applicable to the students and gave them advice on how to embrace the deeper meaning of these songs in order to portray them with heart to their audience. Totally. So your job is to love and to love again with all of your spirit, the fullness of yourself. Um, and that will, you know, get you where Ms. Hap wants you to get, which is ending the first act in a big climactic way that will make the audience want to see the rest of the show, want to come back for the second act. So it's a big responsibility. With all the great advice Bobby gave to the cast and crew of West Bloomfield High School's production of Big Fish, this show will be a must-see for anyone in the greater West Bloomfield area. Make sure to get your tickets and check out Big Fish April 28th through the 30th at West Bloomfield High School. Reporting for The Splash Live, I'm Maddie Mustchen.
If you haven't gotten your tickets already, make sure that you are going to get those tickets or you can also buy them at the door this weekend at West Bloomville High School to check out the great show that they're going to be putting on this weekend. That's Big Fish at West Bloomfield High School. So make sure to get those tickets and stop by to check out that great play. Joining us now to talk about Evolve Body Sculpting and some of the great services that we're providing here in West Bloomfield is Mary Kasmarogi, the owner and operator at Evolve Body Sculpting. Mary, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited. So Mary, could you first begin with giving our audience some insight into what exactly Evolve Body Sculpting is? Yeah, so we are actually a non-invasive um, business, pretty much, focusing on body contouring, whether it's fat cavitation, skin tightening. We recently just um, also started doing hydrofacials, um, micro radio frequency microneedling. We also do muscle sculpting and toning, and um, we are a non-invasive business. So that is our main focus. Every treatment that we offer is non-invasive. And then Mary, can you talk about some of the most popular services that you guys provide there and some of the different um, services and programs that you guys have at Evolve Body Sculpting? Yeah, so our very first uh, service that we actually brought in was our fat cavitation and skin tightening. It is a form of permanent fat um, reduction. Um, we also couple that with skin tightening. So for anyone, both males and females, if they have stubborn areas of fat that just won't budge with diet and exercise, we can target that for them. We usually recommend about six sessions per area, uh, give or take, just depending on the person. So I would say that is probably our most popular treatment. That is our first treatment that we started with. Um, our next popular treatment that we just recently got in is our radio frequency microneedling. So that targets laxity, um, pigmentation, age spots, sunspots, um, discoloration, texture. So all that fun stuff that, you know, people want to target, but it's again, done non-invasively. And then Mary, can you um, give us some advice for if you have potential clients that may be hesitant to book a consultation with you guys, do you have any advice for looking into, you know, the types of services that you guys provide and finding the best one for them? Yeah, so our um, consultations are complimentary. So sometimes I know it's people just need that, are just nervous, like you said, or hesitant to make that initial appointment. So coming in, um, we've noticed that once we show people the pretty much the treatment room, um, followed by before and after pictures, kind of walk them through what they should expect, um, going over how long the treatment takes and showing them potential results, that kind of eases them into making that consultation. So we definitely do recommend um, doing a consultation just so we can give our expert opinion on what treatment we think would be best suitable for a client. Um, everyone differs, you know, some people might need a more intense treatment um, versus another person. So definitely taking advantage of the consultations. Um, and like I said, you come in, we show you before and after pictures of clients who've done the treatment and what to expect. And Mary, could you give our viewers and listeners a little bit of insight into the staff that you guys have there at Evolve Body Sculpting and some of the people that they will be experiencing if they go and book that consultation and then get yes, those services? Absolutely. So it would either be with, if you're booking a consultation, it'd either be with myself or my business partner, Nahreen. Um, we also have three um, estheticians that work for us and also a technician. Um, everyone in our office is fully trained. Um, to do these treatments. And then so the consultations would be with myself or any of the other girls that we have working there. And Mary, can you tell our audience a little bit about some of the things that new clients should know before they book one of your services um, in that consultation process and what it looks like? Yeah, so the biggest thing we tell clients is maintenance or preventive, preventative um, treatment. So it's never too early to get treatments done. Sometimes people like to wait until it's time for a treatment, but if you do treatments now, you're just preventing needing more treatments in the future. So um, that's one thing that we always talk to clients about, the importance of starting treatments early on and just learning about the treatments and knowing what exactly each treatment consists of. That's the very important part. Once we notice clients understand what they're getting and understand what the treatment consists of, they're definitely more comfortable when it comes to getting the treatment done. 
Mary, could you um, share with our viewers and our listeners where you guys exactly are located here in West Bloomfield and how they can go about contacting you guys and booking that consultation? Yeah, so we, um, you can give us a call, um, 248-892-3300 to book a consultation. That phone number also receives text messages. You um, clients can send us a DM on social media. We are on Facebook and we are also on Instagram. Um, we also have a website, uh, www.evolvebodysculpting.com. So those are different ways they can reach out to us, schedule a consultation. They can also use all those different platforms to learn more about our treatments, look at before and after pictures, and answer any questions that they may have if they can't come in contact with us if it's after hours. So we have different platforms available for clients just to help them out. And Mary, as we wrap up here, is there anything else you want to share about some of your services that you guys have there at Evolve Body Sculpting, as well as any other information that you think would be helpful for our viewers and our listeners? Yeah, so like I said, we do have, we offer hydrofacial, skin resurfacing, um, radio frequency microneedling, muscle sculpting and toning. Um, we just recently got in a new cellulite treatment that targets cellulite. We also have lymphatic drainage and um, skin tightening and fat cavitation. So those are all of our services that we do offer. Um, like you said, we are in West Bloomfield. We are on Maple between Farmington and Orchard Lake, right next, right near the post office on Daly Road. So we're west of Orchard Lake on the south side. And um, we're always available for questions, que um, any questions you may have that need to be answered. Like I said, consultations are complimentary. We do encourage clients to book consultations, you know, to learn more about the treatment and what they see would be best for them. Well, Mary, it was such a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you so much for joining us this morning on The Splash. Thank you for having me. Once again, I was joined by owner and operator at Evolve Body Sculpting, Mary Kasmarogi, telling about telling us about some of those great products and services that they have there at Evolve Body Sculpting and how you can go and visit them as well as booking that initial consultation. If you have any questions, they have a great staff there. So make sure you give them a call and check them out on their website as well. That's gonna do it for today's show, our Monday edition of the Splash Live. Thank you again to Christine Stevens, the drama director at West Bloomfield High School, as well as her two cast members for the Big Pit Big Fish production happening this weekend, Izzy Masilano and Drew Smith, as well as Mary Kasmarogi, the owner and operator for Evolve Body Sculpting, telling us about some of their great programs and services that they provide there at Evolve Body Sculpting. For joining us this morning on The Splash Live, a special thanks to our Zoom producer, Jared Clark, for coordinating the Zoom and making sure our guests joined us. As always, a huge thank you to Calvin Brown, our board operator and director, for making this show possible each and every morning. And thank you for joining me as we explored all of the people and events in our greater West Bloomfield community. As always, you can make sure to tune in live here on Civic Center TV, on Comcast Channel 15 and at t Channel 99, Monday through Friday to catch up on what's going on in our greater West Bloomfield community. You can also watch our show every morning on My Michigan TV. It's a new streaming service that covers all of the great people and events happening around Michigan. You can either head over to their website at mymytv.com or download the My Michigan TV app on your smartphone and smart TV. You can also check out all of our archive stories and interviews by visiting civiccentertv.com and following us on our YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram pages. For all of our friends in Sylvan Lake, Orchard Lake, Kego Harbor, and West Bloomfield, I'm Maddie Mushin. Thank you for watching The Splash Live.